Hello there and welcome to this CS Watch video 005 where we're having a brief look at testing. Uh, there's going to be another testing video uh, uploaded in the near future which goes into more depth but for now we're just having a nice basic look at testing. So today we're looking at what the purpose of testing is and why testing is important. So testing allows you prim primarily to be able to check for errors. It allows you to check for things which might be wrong with the system. Uh, different data could quite easily result in errors. So, for example, if you are creating a system which asks for someone's name, age, and gender, you expect them to write down data such as Bob, 27, and male. However, you might not expect them to write down their favourite song, uh, the link to a picture of their favourite favourite singer, and then a picture of a rabbit. Um, testing allows for different data to be added and entered to see how the system behaves. Uh, testers try to break a system which can then be fixed. If you think about it as a nice little circle, the tester um, gets a piece of software, he tries to test it, he tries to break it. If he's successful in breaking it, then he passes the information over to the developers and says what happened to, uh, for allow to, to allow for the system to be breaking. At which point the developers look at it, they patch their code up, and then the cycle continues until they've got a fully working piece of software. Alpha and beta testers um, test uh, before systems are released. It allows more users to test before a commercial release. So for example, if we think about World of Warcraft, a popular video game, they do a lot of beta testing before they launch a new expansion pack. This allows them a uh, lot of different testers to be able to test very specific areas of their game which they wouldn't just have the manpower for or be able to do themselves. So, here are a quick couple of exam questions for you. So feel free to pause and have a go at these. And let's have a look at some answers. As I said before, there is going to be a video, and I'll add the link below once the video is made uh, for more information about testing and looking into it in more depth. So, for example, looking at erroneous data. But I hope this little clip and this little glimpse into the world of testing has been helpful for you. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you in a future video. Bye-bye.